Okay, questions for uh, John and Nolan, please raise your hand. Let us get the handheld mic to you. Let us know who you are, who you're with. Who has the first question? Uh, this is for Nolan, just kind of a two-fold question. You know, number one, are you back to 100%? And then, obviously, in the next uh, matchup, Abrams shot the lights out in, in the game tonight. What problems does that present? You know, he, he, we don't know. Any, it's better not to ask Texas questions. They, they don't they, – and it, I don't want them to be making statements that they're not prepared to make. Let's talk about tonight's game. I'll talk about a little bit about Texas because I know them. They're going game to game. Just to answer the first part. Um, but yes, I am 100%, and I feel great right now. You can answer it longer if you want. <laughs> I didn't mean to scare you. Or, or, do or dominate the microphone. Any other questions for the student athletes? To our right. John, from a Binghamton perspective, uh, their foul trouble there uh, off the start, how much did it look like it both kept them kind of rattled and also helped you guys kind of get your groove from the line? Well, yeah, that's a big thing for us. I thought, uh, I don't know if it was six fouls they got pretty quickly, but for us that was a big thing. And we, we just wanted to drive the ball and get, get to the free throw line, obviously, because when a team gets in foul trouble like that. But it was a good thing to get a start in the game. And obviously uh, – I, I think Fuller had two fouls maybe early, and he's a really good player for them. So that was, that was big for us. I think that was part of their attack, though. They're not accustomed to doing – they attacked us, and with all their and, – and you're going to foul. But they took the – that's what I meant. They took the fight to us. And um, uh, I, I, I admire what the way they did that. Uh, Drew Olin from the Binghamton University Pipe Dream. I was just wondering if you guys could uh, talk about the defensive pressure that Binghamton's guard put on you guys and maybe maybe compare it to the um, the other guards that you've played against this season. Um, the, Binghamton, the Binghamton guards, they played great defense. You know, they really got after us, and you know, they tried to pick up full court through most of the game. So, you know, it really forced us to handle the ball better and be sharper with our you know, offensive possessions to take care of the ball. So... You know, they play great defense, and you know, they have great guards. And we had to really be ready to play on our perimeter side. Yeah, the one thing, they don't have just one guard that's pretty quick. They have, you know, a bunch of guards. So no matter, um, you know, who was guarding me, bringing it up, or Nolan, or whoever it was, pretty much anybody could pressure the ball, and they really attacked us, like Coach said. So that was one thing that many teams don't have that they had tonight. Any other questions for student-athletes? Okay, job, thanks, guys. Good job. Okay, questions for Coach? To our left. Coach, on a night like tonight where you've got six guys in 